Hey YouTube! In this video, I'm going to show you some simple tips and tricks so you can get the most out of your new Echo Show. The tips and tricks will work with the Echo Show 5, 8 and the standard Echo Show. I will look at the following topics. How to set up your Echo Show. What each of the different light bars are indicating. How to navigate using voice or touch. How to decide what information rotates on your home screen. How to view photos and set photos as a background. How to turn off the screen and dim the brightness. How to find smart home devices. How to enable and use skills. How to watch films, TV shows and trailers. How to start a video call and use a drop in feature. How to pair with your smartphone via Bluetooth. And how to enable multi room music. I will refer to the smart assistant as Echo instead of a usual wake word so I don't keep tricking your device. If you want to do this for yourself, just go to Settings, Device Options, and Wake Word. You can now choose Amazon, Echo, or Computer as your wake word. When you first get your Echo Show, the first thing you need to do is set it up. It is as simple as plugging it in and following the on-screen instructions. I have made a video that I will link above if you have any difficulties in doing this. If you have any difficulties in setting up the device, you may need to do a factory reset. This is as simple as scrolling down and going to settings. From here, you should go to device options followed by reset to factory reset to default settings. You may have noticed that the show has different color light bars, including blue, red, and purple. I will now explain what each of these light bars mean. The blue light bar indicates that the assistant is listening and processing your request. For example, when you ask for the time or the weather. What's the time? The time is 8.58 p.m. The red bar indicates the microphone and camera is turned off. The purple bar will appear when you turn on Do Not Disturb. Turn on Do Not Disturb. I won't disturb you. You might also notice a speech bubble at the top of the screen. This is to notify you that someone has sent you a message. To listen to the message, just touch the bubble or ask the assistant to play you the message. One for Daniel Westo from Daniel Westo. Hello, this is what a message looks and sounds like on the Echo Show. If you need to go to the home screen at any time, it's as simple as saying the wake command, followed by home. For example, Echo, home. You can also swipe down from the top of the screen and select home. Go to the settings menu. You can do this by asking the assistant to go to settings. Echo, open settings. Here's settings. You can also scroll down and go to settings. Scrolling is as simple as asking the assistant to scroll up or scroll down. Scroll down. This also works by using your fingers to scroll. Media control works by asking the assistant commands such as pause, next, previous, or even forward by 30 seconds, etc. Next. Next. Go forward by 30 seconds. The home screen will rotate various news articles, weather and stock information cards throughout the day. It is really simple to select the information that you want it to display. Just go to settings, and home content, you will then be able to toggle the different cards on and off. To select a photo as your background, you need to go to the Alexa app. You then need to go to Devices and select your Echo Show. You can then scroll down to Home Screen Background. From here, you can choose to add a photo from your phone to the device. You can also select an album to rotate as your background if it is stored in your Prime Photos. If you have got Prime Photos, you can also ask the assistant to show your album. For example, Show me my holiday photos. Your album, Holiday. You can turn the screen off by asking the assistant to turn off the screen. For example, Turn off the screen. To turn it back on again, just save a wake word. Echo. Home. 
you can also turn the device off by pressing and holding the mute button on the top. You can dim the screen by scrolling down and adjusting the brightness slider. You can also set the show up so that it dims at night. To do this, go to settings, wallpaper and clock and scroll down to night mode. To add smart home devices, you just have to ask the assistant to find smart home devices. It will then perform a search for you. It will then perform a search for any newer devices. Find smart home devices. Starting discovery. This will take a few moments. Power on your new devices now, and if needed, put them in pairing mode. You can control the devices by using your voice. For example, set the thermostat to 20. The heat set to 20. You can also control devices by sliding to the right and selecting Smart Home. This will give you a list of all the Smart Home devices you currently have set up. There are thousands of skills that you can enable on the Echo Show. To browse these skills, you can search for skills on the Amazon website or the Alexa app. You can also search for skills that have been enhanced for the Echo Show by typing Echo Show Skills. To launch a skill, just save a wake word followed by open and then the skill name. For example, open beat the opponent. If you are a Prime subscriber, you can watch Prime videos on your device. Just ask the assistant to open Prime video. Open Prime video. Here's Prime video. You can also get to Prime Video by scrolling from the right of the screen and selecting Video. You can then navigate on the screen to select what you want to watch. You can also ask for a specific program, for example, Play the Grand Tour on Prime Video. Here's the Grand Tour Season 3 Episode 11. Echo. You might also want to ask to see a trailer, for example, Play the trailer for Frozen 2. The assistant will open YouTube, although it's not a great experience, but it does work. Hey YouTube, what's up? This is for Google Home Hub, and today I'm going to be showing you what it can do. Voice and video calls are also really easy through the Echo Show. To call someone, just ask the assistant to call someone who is in your address book. Call Daniel Westo. Did you mean Daniel Westo? Yes. From whom? Melanie, Paul, or Daniel? Daniel. This is the first time you're asking to make a call. You can choose how to reach Daniel Westo, and I'll remember it for next time. Where should I call? Daniel Westo's Alexa devices, or phone? Phone. This person's phone is switched off. You can also make calls through Skype. When you are on a call, you can toggle the video on or off. To hang up, just save a wake word, followed by hang up. You can also drop in on your own devices by saying the wake word, followed by drop in. For example, drop in on Echo Show. Daniel's Echo Show, right? Yes. When you drop in, the screen will be frosted for the first few seconds before the full image is shown. Echo, Echo. hang up. Setting up a Bluetooth device is really simple. Just save a wake word, followed by set up Bluetooth device. You then need to go to your device to pair. Find Bluetooth device. Starting discovery. This will take a few moments. Power on your new devices now, and if needed, put them in pairing mode. Now connected to Pixel 2. To enable multi-room music, you need to go to the Alexa app. Once the app's open, you have to follow the following steps. First of all, select devices from the Alexa app's menu. Press the plus button on the top right hand corner of the screen. Select set up multi-room music. Select a preset group name or tap create custom and enter a name. Tap next. You should then choose the devices you want in your group. The Alexa app will confirm it created your group.
Once enabled, say play, followed by the song or artist name, followed by the group name. I hope you have found these tips useful. If you have, please make sure you like the video and subscribe. I will be creating more tips and trips. I will be creating more tips and trick videos in the coming weeks. I have left a link to the Echo Show in the description below if you want to buy one for yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye.